Vanilla or modded? Vanilla or modded? These are the questions we need answered. The Earth, it's flat. Global warming, that's just 5G towers sending out radio waves. It's all fake news. Pick up a book, bro. We need the real questions answered. And I want to know, can a vanilla player defend a modded base? And vice versa. Max? Yeah. I've invited two teams of duos, one vanilla, one 5x modded mains. Both teams have 16,000 hours and I'll be giving them one hour to build their grand design with unlimited materials except for 50,000 metal fragments, 500 high quality metal and 12 auto turrets. Once they finish their builds, each base will be getting raided by my capable raiding team with nearly 40,000 hours in rust and their objective will be to get the golden egg from the base in 40 minutes or less. But I'm also throwing a little curveball into the mix today. I've invited along a grub, which weirdly, my viewers decided to start auctioning off to each other. Okay, no, you know what? No, no, no. Last, one, last one on. I've just done it twice. I've just done it twice. Okay, okay, last okay, one on. Last one on. Jeez, I think oh, you're no. It's it's Scanny, I'll, I'll, I'll give you two hundred pounds. <laughs> you, you, what? You guys are bidding ten pounds of ruskins. Ten pound in ruskins to be a grub for like an hour and a half. Yes, Max, I would have the time of my life. I, I don't know how that happened. I, it's not going to happen again. But I haven't told you the catch. The builders are going to build their respective bases. So the vanilla guys are going to build a vanilla base. The modder guys are going to build a modder base. And then I'm going to make them switch and. <laughs> <laughs> they were not happy. No way. Bro. I uh, get a replacement for me. I genuinely don't want to play now. We, we need to have a word here. We need to have a word here. Let's jump straight into the building because I got to say, both of these teams were really excited to defend their bases and I feel like I crushed dreams today, guys. And you know what? I did it for you. I did it for content and for all the wonderful people hitting that sub button down below. And of course, not forgetting to click the notification bell as well. Enjoy. Welcome guys to our vanilla versus modded. Vanilla, are you guys better than modded players? Yes, of That's course. Of it, yeah. <laughs> Easy, yeah. Okay, modded players, do you think you're better than vanilla players? A million percent, because million X, you know. Okay, All right, fair enough. Please go and select a build location and then, yeah, get building. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys make. Have you found the location that you like? Yes, we have. Oh, already? Okay, damn. Uh, right, what am I looking at? D4? Or why have you selected this location? Well, obviously, it's like they can come from one side. I mean, this there's actually so much sandbank here. Like, you could probably build. I mean, you can build all the way out in the ocean. I mean, this is insane. Yeah. You can build so deep. Uh, yeah, so you have 16,000 hours. You're repping the vanilla squad. Um, you guys obviously mainly play vanilla, I take it? Yep, always. And uh, the base that you're building today, is it something that you've built before? Yeah, make sure I've built it as a duo as well. Okay, and how much have you guys played together in the past? Uh, like a couple of wipes. Okay, so you got a decent bit of experience together. So yep. not not great, not crazy amount, but like a, you know, good good knowledge of like each other's play style. When when you place the first piece of swig, the timer begins. Good luck. All right. Timer has begun. Not forgetting to use B grade. I like that. I like that a lot. Damn, you guys are <laughs> like barely a minute in right now, and. I mean, I don't think I've seen progress like this from anyone ever. <laughs> Are you keeping an eye on how much metal you're using? Yeah, base is almost finished. Uh, 50k isn't... We can, we can change it back to... I know you haven't used 50k, but you've definitely used close to 20, I would say. Maybe 16. Just something to think about, you know. Because um, I, I do believe B-grade actually does use resources from your inventory. So if you're giving yourselves like 25k metal each, for example, you'll know that you've used, you know, 25k metal each. And we've never had anyone go over. Generally, people are always under. So if it looks like you've used it all, I'll be pretty happy for you. Um, I like this base, actually. This is interesting. This looks very defendable. It's a typical sort of... Actually, it's not typical at all. What's going on here? This isn't a bunker. Interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing what you do with all this. Barely two and a half minutes in right now. Is this good progress, in your opinion? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'd agree. This is the most finished base I've seen in two and a half minutes. And you guys are clearly very organized and you know what you do. It's almost like you planned how you're going to build this. <laughs> but what do you think about modded bases in general, out of curiosity? Ah, uh, they're trash. Yeah? Well, what, what, do they, yeah. what do they lack that you guys have in the vanilla base? They're like everything, to be honest. <laughs> you're just hating on modded players, huh? <laughs> you're just hating on them. <laughs> yeah, it's not the real game. They make some girthy, girthy bases that lack some of the nuance and some of the 
interesting design features like you get a lot of like mountain roofs and things once you start getting into modded just these ridiculously big bases and the only way that they ever really get raided is quite literally people cargo fob so they build a fob into your base so you can't see yeah, it yeah. and i mean this is this is a, a different level of play style in my opinion like the amount of boom that you need to raid a modded base is insane but also the amount of materials you need to build a modded base to defend against a raid like that is also insane i think vanilla raiding is much more like uh, you really have to think about it you have to look at it you have to figure out how you're going to make it how you're going to raid it which areas you're going to hit how much rockets you have left whereas modded raiding is you stand in one area and you shoot rockets until you can see the other side until you literally make okay. a hole through the base there's not really as much brain power going into it. <laughs> uh, I don't know what the modern community will think about that, but I, I don't know. I, I'm not saying that it's worse. I'm just saying it's very different. The, the, the completely different play styles. Awesome. Right. Yeah, you guys carry on building. I'll be back shortly. I'm looking forward to seeing what you do here. Right. You guys about ready? Well, you just want to get dinner, but yeah. I'm literally the modded guys still haven't started, by the way. They haven't started? No. <laughs> one of them went for dinner. What? yeah before you start though quickly it, how much i mean i know you guys have played loads in the past uh so that, that's we, we can get that out of the way 16. 16. a lot of experience here and you play mainly modded is this a base that you've built before nope no 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 you've never built, built this before new, we built something new every video okay awesome and um yeah awesome well best of luck once you start building the time will begin ready Gorgi? yes sir timer has begun good luck oh. And there they go, the modded base. So what do you guys think of modded bases versus vanilla bases? Do you think modded bases are better? Because the vanilla guys had a lot to say about modded bases. They're, they're both good, it just depends on the situation. Like depends, because on modded you get raided differently to on the vanilla. Because when I do play the occasional vanilla, I'm always playing deep. So I'm building modded bases on vanilla like it's nothing. It's always the same for me. And what do you think about like the material upkeep? So obviously modded bases are a lot bigger, so they need a lot more material. So you don't see a problem with building a modding ba modded base on vanilla as long as you've got enough people to play on. I think the last wipe I played, our upkeep was like 250. On monthly, it's not like you're doing bad. If you're not doing well, you quit. If you're doing well, you've raided like 10 bases, you have quarries, you have excav, you might be like a week into the wipe and you've done 20 raids, all that kind of stuff. I think modded uh, you have to build within like two hours and we're talking the million upkeep bases. Yeah. So you literally have to be speedy Gonzalez. What, so Whereas, what, you build a base on wipe day and you're literally getting raided within a few hours if you don't have some ridiculous base? Within an hour. What, like you're getting AK raided but with C4 and rockets? Hits are popped like one hour in. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it's an hour. See, that's the one thing. So I've got nothing against vanilla or modded. Like, I, I've played both. Personally, I prefer, like, a 2x or, like, 1.5x kind of loot table because I don't really want to sit and farm. When I was recording videos every single week, like, just the, the grind of sitting and farming all week, every week started to get to me. But I ended up playing a huge amount of vanilla because just the value of an AK on vanilla was insane. I would often end day one with maybe one AK, and that's not an AK I've crafted. That's an AK I've taken from someone else. Like, the value of guns and, you know, the prim sort of stages, like learning to play with uh, the Pipey and Crossy and killing guys with SARS oh, with Pipey yeah. and Crossy, getting SARS, killing AK dudes, you know, getting Tommies, keeping the AK in base to start with just until I get one or, you know, two or three of them and start roaming with AKs. You know, just I've always got one to defend my base with. Like that whole evolution feels so important and so valuable. And then whenever I play on modded, it's like, you know, there's kits on servers and everyone has AK. Like, everyone has AK. Like, there's guys living yeah. out of two by ones of AKs and there's guys in massive bases with the same gear. So, on the one hand, the playing field is more even in that sense. But on the other hand, I don't know. I feel like it, personally, for me, I feel like modded is sort of missing out on a really, really, it really fun, important stage of the game. And I've always thought about having a server where, like, day one is tier one, day two is tier two, and then on day three, the tier three unlocks. So you can still find AKs. The flaw is that is people play servers and play Rust because they want to be the best. Yeah. If they want to compete against multiple other teams to get AK before they do and raid them. That's the, that's what Rust is. Yeah, and they're happy so to I offline feel... as well. Like, they don't care. Yeah. 
I mean, it's more, it's not even that. First three hours of wipe is always the best part of wipe. After that, it slows down, it's worse, whatever. It's just not as good. I'm still surprised at how easy it is, basically, and to progress. Not necessarily saying the game is easier, because it's absolutely not, because everyone's got AKs, everyone's roaming with full kits. It's just so different, and I don't know, I, I, I kind of wonder, what if Rust just went in more of a modded direction? What if... The whole game was just easier like i feel like there's a very big vanilla community i feel like there's a very big modded community and if anything i think the modded community might be bigger actually really good skilled modded builders here I'm looking forward to seeing what you're doing i need to go see the vanilla base because you guys started super late and I i'm worried that they're done <laughs> okay so i'll chat to you guys soon all right okay right they finally got started how are you guys getting on over and we have a whole base yep <laughs> um you guys know you've only used like 25 minutes, right? Yep. Like you've got over half your time left. Yeah, again, don't bother with boxes and lockers and stuff, please. Um, this is like so quick. You built this so fast, 25 minutes and it's done. Um, I mean, you got auto turrets, right? You haven't placed them all yet, have you? We've got like the standard sort of 4x4 shell going on here with the jump up to the roof. Are you worried at all about, um, like, this is quite a common design, like, people would look at this and probably know know what to do, know where to raid. Yeah, they probably will. It's, like, next to the open core. You know, oh, yeah, um... yeah. Solid. I mean, good spot for it. And the externals are interesting. I do like these. Are the frames giving support for peaks on the roof. The solid, solid peaks. I've definitely seen much worse peaks. They're good peaks. Uh, I, I would have liked to see more peaks, personally. But the base, the base is definitely strong for a duo as well. I think this is a solid base design. Obviously, you got the barricades. I, I, why'd you go for wooden walls over stone? Like stone walls block the peaks, and the they're just too chunky. They got the furnace wall layer, very handy, and then you got a second. You could probably put a sleeping bag in this tower and this tower, and they won't share a uh, a cooldown. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, I think the inside is. Um, I don't know. I just. I think I just expected a little, little bit more from you guys uh, in terms of like, the externals. I thought there'd be maybe like a little bit of a funnel layer or something. You know, you got plenty of time. Uh, do you just not think you need a bigger base? Like you think this will easily be enough? This will be enough for sure. Oh, you want to give the raiders a chance, do you? Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like you've you've hamstringed yourself a little bit, but. We'll see, I guess. It's good for online. It's not so good for offlines. I will say that. Yeah. It's cheap. It's easy to build, and it just works. Yeah. I mean, that, that's that's three good reasons to build this base. Uh, yeah. Good luck. Let me know if you're actually fully finished. <laughs> right, guys. You're 15 minutes into the build. How Yikes. are we looking? Uh, I think we got it. A bit stressful, but we got it. You got 45 minutes left. The vanilla guys are, are done. Yeah, I expected that. Do you think you'll be able to finish in time? Oh yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. I mean, I'm doing turrets now. You got a lot of like inner peaks and stuff, I guess, but why is there like roofs? <laughs> it's collapsible. It's collapsible. So you collapse the roofs. So I set this to twig actually. But you collapse the roofs and it opens up all of these peaks. And if we had the turrets, we'd put turrets there, but we don't. It'll be like wood. So usually in a pummel, if they pummeled your open core because they want your loot, it would break that because it's weaker than everything around it. It would collapse. All the turret angles and peaks from above open up on it. <laughs> um i do like all these like little ramps and things uh, they just they seem to add like a bit of like texture to the base um i the the you've both actually kind of gone for like a weirdly similar base but like a, a vanilla and a modded variant which is like unironically un un exactly what i wanted for this and i'm, I'm kind of happy at how it's worked out like you both built like a shell base um it's just very different like in in every other way it's very very different but the sort of like the principle of a shell base is, is very clearly visible in both of your designs. You guys are clearly going to be fighting a lot more outside of the base, though. You've got a lot of like funnels and towers and like things like that going on. Uh, Not you know, I, I can... necessarily. No, you think you still because... be. I mean, you've got the possibility to fight outside of the base. The whole... Yeah, the whole point of these layers is just to take their time because we can just hold them from above. They enter the compound, they're dead. If they slip past our eye, they die to a shotgun trap or a turret that's triple chain linked. It's just bought there to buy time for us. I'll do windmills if I'm not allowed more than one test gen. I'm going to say you're only allowed one, one test gen. People always say I'm helping the defenders. Look at this, guys. I told them one test gen. Now they're using windmill. Honestly, the build is looking really good. And I mean, even just all of these like peaks on the towers and I mean, this funnel is like... I don't know, it's just, you got layers and layers on this base right now. It's looking fantastic. How is my favorite vanilla team looking? Very good. 
Yeah, you guys have a whopping 17 minutes remaining. Do you think you're going to be able to finish in time, guys? It's not very no, long. No, it's over. It's, it's over. over. Well just quit. <laughs> now, obviously, you are going to get raided by an eight-man team. Is that something you're worried about? No. I just saw some electrics going on. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> so, because you had so much free time, you've decided to invest it in some electronic traps are these phone activated or are they like switch activated on my phone, have i, I just given you an it. idea uh, yeah i just started doing some like micro stuff in base and forgot about turrets this is the bit that takes up a lot of time that people don't really realize every time i have a, a group that doesn't finish the base like you've split the shell up you've got lots of peaks all of these little things take time you know you're placing frames you're placing gates yeah you're placing half walls ceilings you've got doors and double doors and single doors to put on and you, you know you gotta got put floors everywhere all of this sure it's not as long as like i build in the base but this is like at least a third of your time and then auto turrets do take a good six minutes seven minutes to place as well if you're doing it solo like all of these little things people forget about like building the base itself yeah you probably can get it done in 20 minutes 25 minutes and then you've got everything else you know all the zhuzh the stuff that actually makes it good and hard to rate i think it looks really good though like this base looks really good i like that you've got stone on the back metal on the front you've really thought about distribution the base looks honestly so thick like if, if i fly in anywhere there's not like a significant amount of free space anywhere there's just so many doors uh, i think you've started using your hqm now which is nice i like that you've got this like half half bunkered kind of area at the bottom here but it's completely empty everyone's gonna raid straight to that and what they don't know is the tc is up oh even i got it wrong tc's up here but it is behind hqm hmm will they know well, they look at that oh, and go, oh, it's so obviously right there. <laughs> By the crazy. time they see that, they're already dead. Do you think this base is really defendable for an online? Or now that you know how easily you've built this, would you have built something else? I mean, I've defended in this space like quite a lot. So you think this is like the perfect base for you guys? Even if you could do this again right now with another hour, you'd build the same thing? Probably, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, good luck, guys. I'll be back soon, okay? okay how good. are my favorite noobs getting on? Okay. Hey. Good, good, good. <laughs> We're not new. We're not the new. base is coming along, to be fair. A lot's been done since I was last here. You got a, like, a, <laughs> this thing looks like, like a T-Rex head. Like, or something. What are you so laughing is... for? What? What are you chatting? What are you laughing for? What am I yeah, laughing? You haven't seen how this thing looks. You add some teeth to this thing, and it's a... I might even do it, actually. I've given it teeth. It's like a T-Rex with teeth. I mean, the teeth look terrible, but it looks like a T-Rex <laughs> with teeth. That's too mean. This is where you're gonna put auto turrets, right? In these, uh, they're gonna shoot out through through here. So you got four auto turrets uh, yeah. on the roof. One, I think. Only one. Yeah. Prioritizing oh. compound and shell. They ain't getting roof. The base is looking really good and really thick. I mean, this is like a, this is a good base. We built this like 20 minutes ago. Well, I know what you mean, but technically we did. Technically. I was just oh, saying this to the vanilla team. Like building the base isn't always the hard part. Like, once you built the actual structure, that's, like, half of your time. And then the other half of your time is the doors, the internal walls, and the internal peaks, and all of the uh, shotgun traps, and the, the wiring, and the and the auto turrets, and, you know... Like, that's already done. You've got 12 auto turrets down? Uh, you, got no, have you haven't left. done any embrasures either? Uh, and if you're telling me all your doors are on, you're telling me okay. the biggest of porkies in the world okay. right now. Give me two so, minutes so and will be maybe genuine. half of the things that I, I just mentioned are done, maybe, and even that's a push. But you do only have 22 and a half minutes, guys. Oh, we're chilling. I think you're chilling, but I, I also think that your base is... um, What's the word I'm looking for here? HH, -H, help me out here. What's, what's the word for like when you... Ambitious, thank you. The base is very ambitious in terms of being able to build it in an hour. However, if you pull it off and you actually use all the metal and HQM and actually finish the base, I think this is going to be an insanely, insanely strong base. And it's very clearly a modded group base as well. I love the funnel wall that you've got going on here. The ridiculous amount of peaks that you have from this thing is, is insane. The fact that these actually aren't even TC'd to the main base, they're all connected to the external, but they're so close. You'd think they're connected to the main base, but they're not. Like these, it's just crazy. 
Like, you don't even have to touch the water, really, like to get around it's the, the base. It's the marvel of freehand. Yeah, no, the, the freehand in Goggy. I was watching Goggy place his freehands, and I was just in bewilderment. I was like, and he's getting them right every time. Like, just building is such an underrated skill. Like, there's so few good builders in this game. And to be a good builder and still be able to PvP is, is, is even rarer. So I'm looking forward to seeing how you guys perform. Obviously, this base has an insane amount of, like, layers to... Like, you couldn't just... I, I don't even know if I could just watch a guide and still build this without any issues by accident. <laughs> the free hand in, the, the, how you do all the externals, how you connect everything back up to the base, you build on it. You know, you're connecting everything, you're making sure you got peaks everywhere. Being able to build this is, is pretty impressive on its own. And you do have 20 minutes left, guys, okay? So make sure you actually finish this phase. The other guys only have a couple of minutes, so I'm going to go check in on them, and I'll be back shortly, all right? Yo. Yo. Okay, what is up, Drama Alert Nation? It's your host, me. How are you doing, guys? <laughs> well, what's going on out here? Damn, how many... Whoa, 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 whoa. How many test gens are you putting down? I'm just, just charging. charging the batteries. You're just charging, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're doing external TC griefing. Ooh, so much extra stuff. Mm, I don't know how oh. I feel about the external TC griefing. What are you What are you doing with the battery? <laughs> Look in this bush. Oh, oh, yep. that's sneaky. Oh, they're going to definitely hide behind this rock as well. Okay, guys, you've got about 35 seconds left. Um, so that means the T C needs to be sealed, these extra test gens need to be gone. 30, 30 seconds, guys, really not very long left. Um, I'm assuming the base is all completed, all the auto turrets are powered, shotgun traps are done, everything's done, yeah? Yep. Yeah, everything's loaded, everything's sorted. Um, you had so much free time, you started working outside of the base, took quite a series, you know, started actually dedicating a decent amount of materials. You've used all your HKM, all your metal, yeah, everything? Yeah, everything. Three, two... One, that is time up. I mean, we're done. You're done. Like we know, we know you're done. You're done. Easy peasy. Yep, um, I'm looking for. Oh wait, the auto turrets on. One of the auto turrets on the roof isn't turned on. <gasps> dun dun dun. Oh, because branch is not getting enough power. I can just. Can I turn it? You can. You can change the number on the branch. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, the base is done. Everything is sorted. Uh, the other team have 15 minutes left to build. If you guys want to just go AFK, honestly, for 15 minutes, that's fine. I'm looking forward to uh, watching you guys defend out of this. It's gonna be a lot of fun to watch. Actually, it's gonna be a lot of fun. There's never a wrong way to be a chicken. <laughs> All right, how how are we getting on at this base? So these are things you can jump onto from the actual roof, are they? Uh, yes, sir. And is this to get down quicker, or is this to be able oh, to fight further more, out? More areas to peek from. Do you want to work on shotgun traps now? Honestly, screw everything else. You should work on shotgun traps while I finish off doors in the whole base. Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> I don't really think doors is a good idea. You <laughs> might maybe just one or two, you know. <laughs> no, you, you know the reason why. Come to me next, way. <laughs> the reason why you don't have doors on is this some new modded tactic I don't know about. Huh? What do you mean? We don't have doors, or do have doors? You don't have any doors. Oh, on the inside. Yeah, you know, the base. <laughs> the base that you built. <laughs> oh, I mean, the compound, yeah, at least you got doors on the compound. No, it's just these funnel doors. They literally funnel off the uh, like the actual entrances. So you open them. They can't get through here. They can't get through there. They can't get through here. There's three doors that block them. Four. Wow. Sorry. Wow. Genius. So Place more doors. doors. Place more doors, yeah. geez. Explain this to me later. Get more doors. <laughs> I'm doing it. Uh, I'm literally doing all the doors right now. You need two embrasures on, thingy. The embrasures are going on, to be fair. You're missing some, buddy. You're missing some at the bottom. Yeah, and no, I'm going to go around again after. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Just saying that. Just saying that. It's looking good, though. It's looking very healthy. Pretty, pretty good. So you got four minutes and six seconds left. What else you need to do other than the embrasures? I don't know. I'm scared. Okay, all doors are done. Like for skirt all, I think. I love you. Oh no, we haven't upgraded anything, have we? Oh, sh that's what I'm doing. No, you do. You you continue with what you're doing. I got metal. <laughs> well, actually, you have metal. Wait, I need the command. Wow, the the open core is looking real uh, real interesting. You H core, yeah? H core. Yeah, yeah, core. yeah, 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 yeah. The whole of the whole uh, like white gap, all of white gap. I mean, look, you've got twelve water turrets. You're upgrading the last of the materials. If you're missing a handful of windows and doors on the roof, ah, did I just say that out loud? <laughs> that, that's probably yeah. not the biggest deal. Jeez, jeez, jeez. That's what I said, and he was that's his job, not mine. <gasps> okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Damn, dude, you're not even working. Three, two, one. Jeez, so stop, 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 stop. I'm watching you. Right. Okay. 
Guys, congratulations. Would you say the base is finished? Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's still some embrasures we could have placed, but... Yeah, I mean, there's I a couple of embrasures, like, like on here and like on that one. Yeah, yeah I mean, there's yeah. some some missing here and there. Probably wouldn't have made the biggest difference, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, it may, may have helped a bit. But you think the base is good? Um, I actually really like this base. It's absolutely colossal. It's exactly what I expect a modded base to look like, which is exactly what I wanted for the video. So thank you for that. And I'm going to go and let the vanilla guys, I'm going to drag them in here. Let's get them over it. Let's get them to have a look at your base. Right, the uh, the modded players are finally finished, by the way. Okay, buddy. Nice. <laughs> About Bro, damn time. <laughs> okay, um, vanilla players, do you want to come have a look at the modded base? Please fly over. Give me your honest opinion. It's going to take a second to load in. <laughs> oh. This is so much bigger oh. than our best. <laughs> so much bigger. True, true. So I see it's 90% shooting floor and 10% base. <laughs> That's the first thing I see. Yeah. It's all peaks. There's peaks everywhere. There's peaks on the peaks. I feel like they're going to get lost in their own shooting floor. By the time they get like from one side of the shooting floor to the other, the raiders are going to be in their core already. First of all, the turrets wouldn't let them inside the core. In terms of getting lost, if you built the base, you never get lost in it. You know exactly where you need to peek from to hold from, you know. Sorry, I, I <laughs> it's funny because they don't know they're going to be um, switching base. Way. Other than a handful of windows and some like um, ladder hatches, the base is, I mean, the base is like 98% finished. It's like basically done. They may have missed out on using a couple of thousand metal as well, but I mean, it is pretty much there. Like if I gave them an extra, you know, minute or two, they probably would have fully finished. The base is essentially done though. So... We've had a good look at this base. Shall we go look at the vanilla base, okay? Oh, you guys put scarecrows in the windows. <laughs> I like uh, it. Yeah, I mean, it's tacky the 4x4. Four four. Four. Is it that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The scarecrows, they're smart. Yeah. I've seen them being used in, like, YouTube videos. They're really smart. Yeah, and the pinatas aren't too bad either. They look kind of funny. Yeah. Kind of funky. <laughs> it's literally just tacky the 4x4. Four four. So it's, it's a decent base, you're saying? But it's just yeah. a, it's quite simple, yeah? Vanilla players, do you prefer your base or theirs? Uh, with stars. You prefer yours? That's odd. Yeah. Hmm, why do you prefer yours? Do you think it's uh it's less less difficult to get lost in it? I mean, in a real wipe, I would definitely not build what they built. Why not? Yeah, it's literally just it's too much. Too much? I don't think yeah. a modded player knows the meaning of too much. I have a surprise for both of you, <laughs> and I don't think you see this oh. coming. I'm oh, going to no, have no, the no. vanilla and the modded players switch bases and defend yeah, out of them. Okay. No way, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm logging off in a bit, lads. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang right, on see you guys. Just, you You're going to F1. You have to turn off gold right, mode right. first. There it is. We need to have a word here. We need to have a word here. Yeah, I, um, I don't really feel bad. <laughs> You're soulless. <laughs> I'm assuming you guys are not happy about this. No. Not even a little bit? Oh, I, th be, I be. thought one of you would think the other base is better and then be happy no, about it. It's unfair because Cheese knows our base, but I don't know his base. So it's unfair no, already. Well, that's okay so because you're going to have about an hour oh, to yeah. get to grips with it before we do the raiding. I bet they didn't place any shotgun traps, no Tesla yeah, coils. Yeah, we did. We got shotgun traps. No Tesla coils, though. We literally have Rust Plus connected to our Tesla coils. Well, so. no, disconnect that. <laughs> <laughs> no, just just give me the Vust Plus, I'll go get my phone. Can I uh, get a replacement for me? I genuinely don't want to play now. <laughs> what? No. Jeez, man. <laughs> you're you're going to defend that base, you're going to be happy about it, okay? I thought yeah, one of you would be happy and one of you would be sad, like last time I did this. But you're both just sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I still feel bad, but after giving them about an hour to get adjusted to their new environments, we were ready to begin the raids, and on screen right now is how much boom I'm giving the raiders to raid each base. I am curious to see what happens here, because I do think a bigger base isn't as useful when you don't have many numbers. I also think where you build the base matters. I think there's a lot of factors here to consider. The main question is, are the vanilla players going to adapt to the modded base easier than the modded players are going to adapt to the vanilla base? Let's find out. I'm thinking like six DBs and like um, some buckshot and stuff. They don't know you exist. <laughs> you can come, you can leave the base when you hear the first rocket, okay? And I will keep an eye on you, so don't start sneaking over before, okay? All right, all right. Well, I don't even know where the base is. So. Yeah, once you hear the first rocket, that, that you know, your your destination will, uh, will become clear. Nice. Oh, like he's got the depressed music going as well, man. I've had to oh, mute it. Oh, why are you listening to sad music? Jeez, are you okay? 
Mm. You need to tell a trusted adult, get a grip. God. Hey, geez, 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 oh, listen here, lad. You need to cheer up. It's you not need that to fucking, deep. yeah, like you sound like you're actually miserable right now. And you built <laughs> such a good base, and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. The base is so bad. They can find you up shooting oh floor with eight. Oh my god, give it no, a rest. Goggy, they can find you up shooting floor with eight rockets. I oh, see what you that, mean. That, that opens up the whole shooting floor. Jeez, there's no, there's no rule that we can't keep building the base while the uh, event. Oh no, there isn't. We will. Go and scout. Right. Go and let me know what you think of it. Let's take a look at our lick. Ooh, I see a. Yo, no. the TC Seagreaves, Jesus. Oh, boy. Look at that, oh, Lord. Boy. Blow this foundation and then yeah, yeah. scout. We just like right. four well, rockets at foundation and then we'll up. Because yeah. like this, like this is the weakest link. This is the weakest link. I'll ladder up in the tower and there's four rockets at the bottom and I'll just go into yeah. the tower and hold the roof. Yeah, we, we, okay. we, we, we have to first destroy yeah. the shooting tower yeah. though. Don't breach the wall until the base is like fully yeah, over. We need a couple rockets though, spare. You guys, honestly, I think you have a pretty good chance. Oh, Max, yeah. we can't get in and out of the towers. You got They're beds. sealed off. Yeah, what? so we put kits in there and we can never use those kits except in the tower. Even though that base is horrendous, I got faith in you. Everyone step inside the base, please, because the timer begins once one of you steps out. I'm just going to get my timer up on uh, my phone. There's one right. person I need to talk to very well. Oh, my my game froze, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard that one before. <laughs> get in there. <laughs> Damn, okay. 600 cloth. We know he's got all the cloth on him. Oh. When you hear the first rocket, that's when yeah. you can come over. Good luck, go, go, go. Mr. Grub, and I'll chat to you shortly, yes. okay? Okay, guys, please, yeah, everyone get Oh, my God. What are you doing outside the base? <laughs> I was gone for, like, we 30 seconds. Okay, timer is starting now. Go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. go. Right, we're we're about to get beamed straight away. He's headshot, second floor. Nice. Get the one right in front of Orm and the left one. You missed the rocket. Oh my, oh my god, god. Oh my god. missed. Alright, so as it's starting, they have just got down one of the TCs. They have no idea that Mint Oreo, which was G's, is sneaking up behind them right now. We're pushing them from behind. They're getting down a decent compound. They are getting rid of these TCs. I think they're trying to find a nice big area for themselves. Goggy inside the base is getting lit up right now. El Grub, who is on his way over right now to do Grub thing. Jeez, gets the first pick on one of the players at the back here. Oreo are going to have no idea what's going on. I'm assuming they know they're getting counted right now, but they have no idea that there's also a Grub on his way. I don't know if he saw the Grub or heard the Grub. I don't know what the Grub's plan here is. I think he's just looking for uh, looking for someone to murder. We actually... Oh, he just gets murdered! You How got, can we uh, be upgrade? out there already? Like, what? Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to Yeah. Uh, uh, Silas are in. Silas are in. I don't see this wait, kid wait, in the wait. forest. Yeah, he's probably just flanking around again. It's full gonna, full be, uh, it's gonna just go on. The guys outside the base are doing a pretty good job of like holding this down. They don't seem to be too worried about getting shot in the back. Oil rig manager, our grub, is crawling towards. Jeez, by the looks of it, Jesus. I don't know where he's going actually. He's saying, I don't want to take part in defending this. That's not my base. I'm really sad about this. Uh, the guys at the base, though, are getting a decent-ish compound. They've got two or three guys building. They're getting a deep. Considering they've only used about eight rockets, I mean, they've got like 70-plus left. The G's is getting beamed out here. He just got absolutely slain. Oreo seems to be going for it, but will the Grub get there first is the question. He does, but it's slightly too late. Yeah, green kid. <laughs> Why you looted it? What? Bro, green gear is so OP. They literally didn't see that Jeez was dead right there. They literally couldn't find his kit. That's absolutely insane. The raiders are now getting ready to actually do the main raid. Both defenders are inside. One of the grubs is outside. Defenders are getting lit up from the base. They're all coming over here, and the oil rig manager, the grub, seems to be on his way. How's it going, boys? Oh, the base is Pretty bad, good. but apart from that, good. They're really getting through the base right now, I believe. They're going right side, by the way. Yeah, yeah I realise. What? Out externals? Oh. Yeah. I'm extending. Uh, yeah, quit. I'm Wait, like, I down one, bro. They both pushed me. Yeah, I need I'm you to there. cover them. I'm... You need to cover me. They're yeah, in compound. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, secondary. Yeah. But I'm bag time on some of my bags now. They're breaking tower, even though we can't use it. Good one. Nice. Naked. I heard that. I got like crippled, man. That's why down. No, that. Oh, come on, man. Like, let me be. Let me be. <laughs> oh, I got more. Still shooting for him too. No, I'm dead. Oh, oh, sorry, let, let me soul in the tower. Let me soul in the tower. Go down and have the rocket. Let run. Let run. Go down and have the rocket. Let me soul the tower. Let's oh, he's thinking about it. Let's go down. He's really thinking about it. They have kits. It. They have kits in their in their uh, like outer compound. I mean, like, Dude, I'm, I'm like still shooting for him. 
Yeah. He's, oh, dead, he's, dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Nice, nice, I'm, nice. I'm, 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 I'm gonna start, I need someone to hit yeah, me. turrets. That's really smart, actually. It's really hard to do. You really gotta get on top of that. But yeah, if you can get in there, there's only one door to get in. Meanwhile, the raid itself, the raiders have managed to get a guy up on top here. He's doing a pretty good job of holding down the roof now, I think. I worry that the defenders may think this is over, but they haven't even got into the inner compound yet. And they've used quite a lot of rockets already. Uh, Goggy just died on the roof. I think that's his first actual death. Maybe his second, actually. Min Aero, geez, is going to try and get a good angle in here. That's not, you know what? There's some good angles here. There's some good little angles and peaks. Yeah, they have hella kits in the gates. Oh, I can yeah, hold it. We, I can we have a our door. We have a DB at our base door. Tesla coil is back. This guy's a rat. Right. Yeah, one of them is like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DB outside the yeah. uh, raid base. Our, yeah, I know. That's why I said. <laughs> Rip the grub. Should have put the uh, windows on and then taken them off. Like, you know how they had them in the boxes? We should have got rid of the towers. They're useless. Are you able to use the Tesla coils and stuff? Uh, no, I didn't even hook that up. Oh, no. That would have helped. Not really. The shotgun towers do the same, really. HEs and HVs. Two of them going in tower. Killed yeah, no, in tower. <laughs> I saw that. that was actually amazing. <laughs> Wait, you get two? I can do. Wait, you might have just got two. Bro, I hate Bro, that fob is pissing me off. And they're in tower. Yeah. I missed you get no that's the Jesus kit. They left it, didn't they? Yep. Yeah, they couldn't find it because it was green. No. No, oh, behind me, man. Damn it. Name of the game. Get rid of the beds. We did the turret. I, I think the other guy's <laughs> also back timer. I think they're all back timers right now. Yes, full of siege I need to use it. I need to use You can shoot it from like up here on the tower if you want to just come up there. Back timer right now, I think. They, they, they don't have extra turrets, so you get rid of the turrets. Or do they have extra turrets? Max? I need these fees, man. I, I can't tell you what they do and don't have. Dude, I, do, I honestly, cannot hit these turrets, man. I mean, it's I hit mine. it with two HVs already. I hit it with like eight, dude. I swear to God. It's a chain link. What? What's the turret like? Like, oh, it's, it's, no, it's taking damage. I think it's what, just the angle it's at. Bro. One of them, one of them is like back time. Uh, one is at our base, one is at our base again. So, the guys that are struggling with his auto turrets, his auto turrets are doing a really good job of, uh, of holding off the raiders right now. They actually have destroyed this one and hit this one like twice. And then over here, I think they've done a little bit of damage. They've sort of hit them both kind of like once and a half, kind of twice. Um, I don't know if they're out of ammo. They're actually getting hit by regular rockets now, but that's not really going to damage the uh, actual turrets as much as they might hope it is. I think the the Raiders are running out of steam a little bit right now. I don't know. There's a lot of MP5 easy to grab kits out here. Min Aero, who's one of the defenders, is running up right now. He's, I think he's going to try and grab a free kit, but no, gets taken down, isn't able to do anything in time. I think the defenders are doing a really good job though right now. The Goggy's on the roof here. He's using HVs just to try and, I think he's trying to kill the guy in the roof. And they're able to put, kill them, but they haven't been able to push out and actually get anything off of them, unfortunately. They're basically raiding their own base using incense and HVs and all sorts. Here comes the Grub, about to try and make a play again. Ducky just sees him last second, and it's slightly too late. He's uh, eating pumpkins and, and mushies to heal up right now. They know he's there. They know he's there. Oh, he's so screwed. Ah, and he goes down, yeah. No chance, bless him. Oh, no, really, tower! Yeah. Kill tower! Break it. Yeah, ladder's gone for tower. Ladder's gone for tower. There's one in tower. Yeah, yeah, I know. But now they can't get back off unless they bring another ladder. Yeah, kill Tazzy out there, mate. I'm whiffing. Honestly, if you can try go seal with tower compound. Tower again! We just... One of us needs to just hold tower, please. Yeah. Yeah, wait, I'm a rocket. Give me a minute. <laughs> yeah, you've been rocketing so much! I, I, can, I can never downlive this moment. Like, I'm going to be bullied for the rest so, of my life. <laughs> some of these are, guys are really, really sus, by the way, Max. No, they're, they're really, really good. good. They are like, really sus good. sus good. Maybe if you're in your base, this would be a lot easier. Oh, it would. But, like, even then, they're still sus good. I know some of them, they're the kind of people that would cheat, but I don't know if they are. <gasps> the C word. Yeah, I broke, I broke the ladders. They cannot anymore get in there. But they, oh. there's still one in there. Oh! Mama, that, that was a tight. That was tight. Mama language, but like. <laughs> that was tight. Oh. Yeah, they're just like going, trying to wipe out shooting floor, I believe. Is he still in that tower? I can't really tell. I don't think he is, but they're trying to get rid of shooting floor, geez. Yeah. That's not going to be fun if they do get rid of it. I, had, I think I downed one. Yeah. They're getting rid of a shit part of shooting floor, by the way. 
the grub just gets absolutely slain. I thought it was by the guy in the base, but I think it was actually Aston who's on the tower here. I don't know how they're doing for boom and stuff. It seems to be actually rocket in the base now, like properly. But the grub keeps getting absolutely slain out there. <gasps> the tower goes down. I don't know how many rockets are on this body, but I reckon that's an important one for the defenders to make sure that they get. But the base is starting to get opened up a little bit on the top side here. They've definitely got kits still. Like they've not really lost many of their gear sets. They maybe lost one or two. I think they're still okay to defend. Now the tool cupboard is here. So it's not impossible for the raiders to get to it, to be honest. Like, especially if they keep hitting here, they're going to get it. Like they're actually going to get it because they're going to go through this. The defenders are doing a really good job of defending this though. They're not happy about defending this base. This is not the base that they wanted to defend today, but they're not doing too bad at all. Uh, meanwhile, we've got oil rig manager who is our grub who is heading back over again. Ducky seems to be chasing him i'm not really sure what's going on here let's see if they're saying anything in the chat i found the grub space i'm just gonna raid him <laughs> is he even annoying you that much i win not the... i got them. on the grub oh, shit oh, please get shooting for control we can like, Dude, blow, there's blow two in there machine. bro there's one on top roof and one in there man <laughs> he's gonna shoot the ladder you gotta kill that kid whoever's in the tower yeah so we don't have any more ladders yeah, like yeah, 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 they're both dead they're both dead oh, no one more one more one more's alive one more's alive top roof or in the in there we killed two there's two dead there's only two right uh, if no. we hold their kids they can't win bro oh you're gonna rock it he missed we just swarm shoot the floor that's how we win like it's not hard i'm, rock I'm rocketing i'm rocking i'm loving this bro i'm loving this i, I took the heavy helmet in this box hit one do you want me to go fight shooting floor again yeah sure i might smoke it i might honestly smoke it that area is now smoked. Like three dead, three dead. Yeah, I, 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 I'm getting hit markers. Like you know, the days are. You need to, you need to grenade in there. There's so many in there. They're yeah. literally all in there, holding me with a rocket. All of oh, them are in there. there. One down below. Oh, I needed him. I missed. <laughs> Bro, do we have a GL launch up here, no? Oh yeah, they can get onto roof, but they can't stay on roof. You know yeah, I'm mean? getting GLs. I'm getting GLs. I'm gonna shoot out this thing, this ladder though. I killed a lot, killed a lot. I think I actually killed so many. <laughs> I need meds. I don't care anymore. I just want to do as much shit as I can. I can get into here. Oh, this is going so well, man. I'm loving this. I found actually a decent peak. Actually, no, they're getting close. Oh. <gasps> I killed so many. I think, I think there's like six dead. Okay, I, I just sacrificed my life to kill a naked. How dumb am I? Jesus. There's so many dead, man. Oh, I need to open wow. that door. Okay, um, they are they nearly in? No, but we're finding good. Okay, it's open on roof. <laughs> are they on roof? No, that's you, oh, right? No. no, 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 but it's open. It's open. It's open. Wait, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good, actually. It's really good, actually. It's really good, actually. I got, I got, I got hit markers. Hit markers. Hit markers. You missed. Oh. Why did it thread so well? <laughs> I hit it too good, man. I swear down, I'm just too good. Roof. Oh, no, no. Peaks to roof from the... Okay. Behind you, behind you, behind you. Behind you, behind you, behind you. Where? Oh, there. Like, in these cracks. Like, you put a twig there. The defenders are doing a really good job of holding, but the raiders are now... I don't know if they're making a tower or something, but they're getting really close. They've also got a lot of the boxes that the defenders had to use. Honestly, I kind of feel bad for the, the for the raiders right now. The defenders have way more GEs than I thought they did. We had 12 or oh, tw uh, 16, I think, total. I think I had a bit more than that. <laughs> no, I've only shot this thing twice, like fully. I feel like you've shot it like at least three times, maybe four. I've got 20 kills. Genuinely, I, on my life, we only had about 16. I see you. I killed one. What, compound? No, up here. Oh yeah, I've got there's a grub, isn't there? Oh, he's here. No. Bro, you smoked off my peak. You twit. I sealed. I'm dead. I dead, but I sealed him in. It's four rockets now. Okay. He's down there. Uh, he's got one or two rockets on him. And uh, I think he's trying to take control of this tower. He's doing a good job of killing them from the outside. And the defenders are killing the raiders as well. I need to go and see how the raiders are getting on. 
Because they're getting killed from multiple angles now. Power, bro. We should have just fucking gored the fucking base. Instead of ready shooting yeah. like that. That's what, you just fucking Yo, 20 many, rockets on the tower. Yeah, bro. It doesn't matter. That's why well, you should have base. Instead of trying to raid a tower like that. Also, they have three people for some reason. I thought that's two. Like, Goggy and the Ulrich manager and them. Nah, there's one grub. Oh, there's one grub. Yeah, but, oh, yeah, but he's like grub. in their compound holding our respawns right now. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they sealed too. I mean, they just pulled the wall there. Pulls the Again, wall dude, if we just scored the base instead of using half the rockets on a fucking tower here, it doesn't help their turrets like invincible. And they just seal and smoke and smoke and smoke and seal and smoke. I'm leading know. this next raid because you morons just use all our rockets yeah. on the tower. Do you think you needed more rockets? Or... No, we needed more letters. Yeah, more, more, more letters. letters. More letters. Fifteen letters are not enough for a raid like this. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Um, Can we just stop avoiding the point that we just Whatever. sucked the game and we just lost the yeah, game? Like... Okay, guys, please stop shooting each other. The raid is now over. I gave you 30 HP. You did use someone PvPing, but you did shoot a lot of them. I was kind of surprised <laughs> as well. Like, you did miss quite a few, like I saw sometimes when I was watching, like you guys were missing. I do feel like you used most of your rockets. Uh, did the defenders, did you steal any of the rockets? Nope. <laughs> that tower was so annoying. We can't get in and out of it. <laughs> we had no kits in it. I mean, they were back timered for like 10 minutes straight because of the tower. Yeah. Yeah, the tower. The tower definitely helped the raiders a lot more than the defenders. I will say that. Do you guys think this is the vanilla team or the modded team? Like a vanilla raid minus the infinite HEs. Vanilla minus yeah. the, the high amount of HEs. Okay. Actually, yeah, maybe them two guys yeah, pretty good. Maybe, maybe we modded. Yeah, let's go and do the other raid then, guys. It was actually pretty close. Not gonna lie. Floor below here oh, is... Oh, sorry, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry, God, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know that was there. On the floor below where you were. Oh, you actually destroyed one of the auto turrets here. I don't know how you managed to break that. There was there was one yeah. there apparently. Um, on the floor below yeah. where you were, it, this is open core, but behind behind that is where the uh, the team no. is. Wait, we were in here. He was rushing yeah, was in yeah, I was literally <laughs> behind this garage door here. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys were like really close, really close oh, for a good okay. while. Um, I thought when you got in before they killed you guys of all the HGs, <laughs> I thought you guys were gonna win it. You guys ready to go? Yeah, I think this is bigger than the one we raided before. Oh, we better be getting like one. Jesus, <laughs> we're playing. Boys, we're at the 10x. Alright. Yo, it, it is so bad here. We're not building this raid base on this side, bro. Wait, what if we get on some of the windmills? We just, we just blow bed, that TC. Yeah, why don't, we, why don't we just why don't we just blow the windmills, bro, so all the turrets go up? <laughs> I mean, they have yeah, the very structurally. Yeah, really. We could just blow, like, this TC290 and this TC210 and then, like, build raid base here. Close. I mean, they yeah, don't who have the raid so last raid? Like... Who planned it? Can we go with scout for the uh, rock base? You can't just, just waste rockets like that. Just blow only what we need. I mean, yeah. we're yeah. probably gonna get like some more than 90 rockets for this shit, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll yeah. give you like 91, maybe 92 rockets. You know, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's go. Don't be too generous, bro. Right. Um, I did give you extra ladders. If you need extra anything, please tell me before the raid starts and I can give it to you. Yeah. So they're ready to raid. You guys are ready to defend? Yep. Yeah. Question, how much boom are we giving them? 500 rockets. Two rockets. Oh. This, I so mean, somewhere between base... 500 and 2. So should we say like 250? Uh, come on. Let's, I mean, uh, I mean the base has like how much four doors. Think? Probably like 100 then. Oh, 100? It's going to be way overkill, but it's fine. You think 100 is... Oh, bro, they had 80 for your base. No, it's literally one... I mean, <laughs> carry store to open core. Right, let me let me figure this out. Sorry. Right, okay, so look, I'm at TC here. I would say ch absolute cheapest route is no less than 40 rockets. Personally, that is absolute cheapest possible route. They bury straight into the middle. You guys don't kill them at all. You guys don't seal a single time. You guys don't. They don't die to auto turrets. You know. Yeah, I think somewhere between 100 and 200 is completely fair, to be honest. Like they, yeah, this, yeah. this is a modded base, right? They're gonna, they're gonna want to pummel it. So, how many? What's the budget looking like? How many? How many did you want? 120. 120? Yeah, that's fair. 120 then you're gonna be very happy because you're getting 150. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we perfect. go. We have a chance. Base is gone, bro. Base is gone. Once one of you steps out of the base, the timer will begin. Yeah, let's go. Time has begun. Right. Good luck. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm I'm oh, I headshot him. I'm done. 120 meters. I'm through. Oh, he's in base. He's in the base. I want your body. Okay, someone more mobile. I don't even know where he is. I'm on now. Shooting for wall. Push him on wall. 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 Get up. The Raiders are doing a really good job of pushing up. They got plenty of walls down. They've used half their walls already. They're gonna try and get a base down here, I suspect. Yeah. And then here, yeah, this is what they're gonna do. This is how you raid modded bases. You get a base down. You build it up, and you pummel. 
This is exactly what I expected them to say. This is exactly what they're going to be doing by the looks of it. All of the raiders are here. They haven't shot a rocket yet. Now, what they don't know is the grub isn't allowed over till they shoot the first rocket. So he's literally waiting. I think that was the first rocket, actually. And they've started rocketing. So the grub is going to be on his way. I have to put him over through fist. I'll have the put on it. Here he comes. Here comes El Grub. One, one more rocket, and then, like, like so it's the free TCM that I can roll up. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh my lord, he's going straight in. You just have to be aware of the grub. A grub's join us. A grub's join us. So they're just going to pummel this base. And it's just going to pummel it. They've already got one of the TCs, and they're going to absolutely just pummel it. I think some of the auto turrets might be connected to this, honestly. Maybe there's a battery. If there's batteries connected to these windmills, which I think there is, which then go to the auto turrets, the auto turrets are going to have power from the large battery for a long time. So I don't think they're going to have to worry too much unless they find the batteries, of course. The raiders will need to destroy the batteries for the auto turrets to get turned off. Now, the raiders are absolutely pummeling this base, but they only have 150 rockets. If they've already shot 20, 25... Like, you know, they're down a quarter of their rockets nearly. They're, I reckon they've probably shot close to 30 rockets. Should we, like, honest. slowly start breaching compound? Yeah. No, no, just wait, just wait. Well, the defenders are having a bit of trouble finding angles to defend from. They have been getting some good kills, have been getting some good peaks. I do think there's a little bit of an experience from using such a big base here. A little bit of, uh, like, he's trying to push out. He's not really fighting. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe he's trying to... He's not sure. Yeah, they just they just don't know where they're going. It's not their base. They don't know what to do. It's too big. There's too much going on. All of these sheet metal doors do need to stay open because they're actually blocking all these pathways. Yeah, right side, right side. It's free to yeah, don't, uh, how I many coming left side now? combo. The base is getting absolutely destroyed right now, but bobby has got some good angle here. He's going to get some picks. He's getting picks. Left side, left side, outside, outside combo. How's it going, chaps? Uh, trying to shield mm. something. There's insta fucking bubble that shit. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, you're not worried yet, are you? Nah, I mean, we're chilling. Yeah, I think you're fine. I mean, the base is damaged, but like, they've still got a lot of base to get through to actually be able to hit you. Man, you, you guys have just had no problem just sealing this base up, huh? I got six rockets in. You got six nice. rockets off them, nice. Man, that grub is trying so hard. <laughs> the uh, the raiders are doing a pretty damn good job of actually making some damage to this compound. So they're getting rid of the trying to start getting rid of these auto turrets. Wabby's right here. I don't think he has. Oh, he didn't die. Oh, they're gonna chase him. They're gonna chase him. There's shotgun traps all over the place here. Wabby gets one kill, but then gets taken out immediately. Tech Yugi is actually not dead. He's just downed. Is the teammate going to come and help him out? I'm not sure. But they are smashing through the space. Are they smashing through the actual... They are. They are. They're just getting rid of the whole thing. The auto turret is now gone. They've got rid of two auto turrets on the outer here. Though Kino is spraying through some nasty little angle here. Look at that. That for an angle. He's throwing F1s out. The raiders are, have made a pretty big dent, I would say. The defenders did just try to seal the compound. The raiders are now pushing in to grab gear. Ooh, Wabby. Pushing out with his little Benelli. Unfortunately, I don't see any way they can push in there while he's chilling. With his gear. Oreo Ducky. Wabby gets a double kill with that Benelli. That Benelli is vicious. He gets absolutely crunched, though. And now he's just lost the Benelli, which is going to be a big problem. All of these doors have gone down, and all these shotgun traps are exposed, making things even harder for the Raiders. The Raiders are taking them out, though. And now the defenders are on timer. This is the Raiders' chance to shine. They've still got plenty of rockets. Uh, the Grub hasn't really hassled them at all. But now they're grabbing the Benelli. They're going to be able to grab all these extra kits as well, laying through here. Hopefully, they go and grab them, because they're going to have no problem getting them. But the shotgun traps are still irritating irritating they're getting rid of them though they are getting rid of them and they've seen that the base has been repaired actually it's not even been fully repaired they can get in without having to raid that i don't know if they can see oh they can definitely see that they can definitely see that they can if the smoke trail clears they can definitely see that there's an access point here interesting now the base itself as we know the tc is quite exposed quite easy to get to and the egg is right there now they're actually really not they're one layer away technically uh they're very close now they've just seen the auto turrets now, they're having a good look, a little look around. The defenders, though, I think are throwing F1s. I don't actually know where they are. But the Raiders still have plenty of rockets as it stands. 
Gino's trying to push out here. He's doing a pretty good job, I would say. I think he just got one kill. Yeah, he just got one kill. They're gonna. They are. Oh, he might be. He might be screwed here. Yeah. Yeah. They. Oh. Oh. He shuts the door in time. But will he be able to get up? Who knows? They, I think they can kill him through this gap. Actually, I think. Yeah, they can easily just jump up. Mm, maybe boost up that, but they can definitely get up that. The raiders are crawling all over this base though right now. They're looking inside. They can see the auto turret's going to be causing problems. They're destroying those walls again. I would recommend they get rid of that auto turret, but let's see what they actually decide to do. I would say they're easily over halfway through their rockets right now. Um, I don't know if they've got HVs left. They did burn through quite a lot of them. Wabby's in here, keeping an eye out, and he's getting an easy pick as they're laddering into his base. There's so many little corners, so many little peaks, so many little areas that you can fight from. It's such a good base to defend, and Kino's still not got up i suspect if he doesn't get up in about three two one he's gonna die oh he does get up fair play he's gonna med up heal up and might be able to do something right now wabby gets rocketed by the raiders have absolutely had enough of him they've also get, gotten rid of one of the <laughs> one of the uh, turrets there look he's having a good look at this base and he's confirmed that it is in fact a shell let's listen to what they're saying on the great side i think they will put it on bottom uh, no, for real. Let's just go through here. Like, yeah, it's only HGM down here. Only HGM down there. Let's go for there. Yeah. It's gonna be both. First floor. Uh, ah, yeah, third floor. Fourth floor. The Raiders don't know it, but they've figured out where to go. Oil Rig Manager gets the free kill, grabs a kit, but dies to an auto turret. No, he tried his best. Yo, they're stealing compound. Stealing compound right now. I you killed the F1. I killed them with F1. From Call nice. Me Ricky. I don't even know how they got F1s. They must have got F1s from the guys in the base because they we didn't give them any F1s. <laughs> yeah, they're not looting bodies, I think. You're right here, yeah, bro. You? Okay. Can, can you get me some rockets? Can you give me if some If they rockets? do continue to hit this with rockets, they are going to get in. Oh, they damaged that HKM wall quite heavily earlier. They damaged this HKM wall a lot. Okay, right side peaks, 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 upper peaks, upper peaks. Wabby gets a good kill, but then gets stuck in here. Wabby's starting to, well, someone, Kino, Kino's starting to metal some of the base. I think he just grabbed another kit. He's working his way down. The Raiders are doing a really good job of just pummeling right now, though. They're just hitting all of these doors. Oh! Is, are they going to see this open down here? Yeah, hey, we got TC, we got TC. I, I couldn't see through the yeah, door. Yeah, shoot this. Let's get a bit of egg. Just take egg, just take egg, take egg. No, okay, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, I got the egg. I got the egg. Okay, 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 okay. I'm about to take yeah, out. Oh, what? Get out. Get out. I thought egg. fucking FF was off. My bad. Egg, egg out as we like win. They're running out with the egg. The defenders are sort of starting to seal up the base and defend a little bit, but I think they've got the egg. Uh, Go on, boys. Yeah, we should have just done the same. Fucking hell. <laughs> First turn <laughs> would have been so egg easy. Egg, bro. Open it. Open. Oh, congratulations, guys. 12 God. and a half minutes. Just saying. Yeah, we should have just done the same. It would have been over in the same time, I think. Guys, 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 the raid is over. First of all, from the defenders POV, um, what do you think of the raiders? I mean, they did well, I guess. Yeah, I mean, like, they, well, they just, what do you think of their strategy of just pummel the base? Yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, <laughs> raiders, what do you think of the uh, defenders? What do you think of the base? Ah, uh, they were solid. Them. I thought yeah, the grub did more than the defenders, but uh. The Benelli one. I thought the grub did more than the defenders. Yeah, yeah, it's all up here though. All up. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I got the data so healthy through the defenders. That's all I know. <laughs> Tell me honestly, yeah, then... when you saw this base, were you a lot more nervous than when you went for the yeah, vanilla base? Yeah, of course. Of course, yeah. No. Yeah, the base is nervous. That's it. But, but yeah, like, hate you, bro. it's just I don't know. Play, play more brain dead and it's easier. Oh my God. <laughs> Just don't have yeah. a fucking plan except pummel. Guys, I'm glad you enjoyed the video. We're gonna do this whole like vanilla versus modded mini series, I think. I've got some much bigger videos in the pipeline, but the <laughs> just man, getting developers to make plugins. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> That's some effort for some reason. Anyway, boys and girls, a huge thank you to all the patrons for supporting my content, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.